Jellyfish, anemones, and corals are animals called cnidarians, which are unique for being armed with stinging harpoon capsules called nematocysts. Cnidarians are regarded as simple creatures because their body plan consists of just three layers, an outer tissue layer, a layer of non-living jelly, and an inner tissue layer. Siphonophores form long chains of conjoined specialized bodies that work together as a single animal. Their tentacles bear complex side branches, called tentilla, which they use to capture prey. When an animal is captured, the tentilla are ingested and digested along with the prey, which makes them single-use weapons that need to be replaced constantly, like the teeth of a shark. Tentilla bud at the base of the tentacle, and develop as the tentacle growth pushes them further away from the base. When they bud, tentilla are just a simple tube of outer tissue, jelly, and inner tissue. However, as tentilla develop, the three body plan layers start separating. The outer layer swells up, the jelly condenses and hardens into a collagen wire, and the inner layer tube provides an origin connection from the tentacle to the distal end. Like other nadarians, Siphonophore tentilla subdue prey using nematocysts, which need to be assembled and loaded. At the base of the feeding bodies, siphonophores produce specialized cells that carry nematocysts, called nidocytes. Immature nidocytes travel down the tentacle, building their nematocysts inside the cell, changing shape and size as they go. Once they reach the tentilla, they sort themselves by type, squeeze into the outer layer, settle in the determined position, and rotate to point the harpoon outward. Once they're loaded, the outer layer twists around the central axis into its final conformation, and the tentillum is ready for action. I'm Alejandro Damián Serrano, and this is CreatureCast.